Sup Flare Squad, welcome back to my channel and to another video. This time I'll try to answer questions and give tips on purchasing BTS concert tickets. Keep in mind that things could have changed from last year and they are doing things a little different this year. If you want to see the video where I got BTS concert tickets within 5 minutes, the video will be linked in my description box. Let's try to go in through steps. There will be three stages of ticket sales. BTS Global Official Fan Club ARMY Membership Presale on February 5th, General Verified Fan Presale on February 6th, then the normal sale for the general public on February 7th. In order to register under the Global Fan Club, you do need to purchase a membership through Weply because it's going to ask for your order number, so you do have to be part of the BTS Global Official Fan Club ARMY membership. As for general verified fans, you would also need to register on Ticketmaster by answering and verifying a couple of questions. Now I'm just going to answer general questions about both of these options starting with Global Fan Club. Once you're registered, on the evening of Tuesday, February 4th, you'll receive an email confirming whether you've been verified and also if you've been selected to participate in pre-sale. So not everyone who registered will be selected. Pre-sale will then begin on February 5th at 3 p.m. local venue time. You have to enter the code you received from the email or text and you're only able to purchase up to two tickets per code. I do not know what sections will be available to the Global Fan Club members, but I'm assuming it's going to be everything including the floor, but we shall see. Next is the general verified fan. So the same thing will happen except they'll receive an email confirming they've been selected on Wednesday, February 5th. Tickets will go on sale for general verified fans on February 6th, 3 p.m. local venue time. They'll enter the code they got and they'll be able to purchase up to four tickets per code. Remember that receiving a code only gives you the opportunity to shop for tickets. The ability to purchase tickets is determined by supply and demand and is not guaranteed. It's first come, first served basis. Seating maps have been shown before, but from what I remember it, it was like the day of the ticket sale. So try to go in early and it usually shows a tiny map on the bottom with these sections labeled. As of now, we do not know what the ticket prices are, but that will also be announced prior to when tickets go on sale. Last year, I got Floor with Soundcheck, which came out to $358, but this was with all the fees and the taxes. Before that, face price was about $310, I believe. Uh, and the cheapest tickets were around $60 face price, which is of course all the way in the back and around $180 to $250 are how much the tickets cost around the middle. I don't know if it's gonna be the same this year, so we shall see. Last year, the Orange Stars meant concert tickets with Soundcheck together. I don't know if they'll be doing Soundcheck tickets again this year, but it's basically going in for about 15 minutes, a couple of hours before the concert starts, and watching them test their mics for Soundcheck. They'll do a couple of songs and make cute interactions with the fans, which was really fun. And yes, there's a lot of lining up and waiting in this process. At this point, just for Soundcheck, it is first come, first serve, but don't worry, wherever you are, you'll get a good view since it's still in seats and about, I believe, 300 to 500 people are chosen for Soundcheck. Or not chosen, sorry, the people who bought Soundcheck tickets. I think it was about 300 to 500 people. Once the Soundcheck is done, you could roam around the stadium, but you can't leave the vicinity, like past the gates, Ask the people who check your tickets and they will make sure to announce that as well so you don't forget. Yes, floor tickets for stadiums have assigned seating, not first come first serve. That was only for the sound check. So for the actual concert, you could just go to your own seat, chill, relax and party it up when it's time. Question time! Will you be able to call Ticketmaster with your code and get tickets? No. Ticketmaster has removed the option to call and purchase tickets, sadly. Since we have memberships holder presale, 
Do you think there is still any value using multiple devices? Using the same account using multiple devices is no longer an option and could result to kicking you out of the queue. One code, one device for the presale. What is the best seat that's not floor? So personally, I actually prefer the bleachers where you see everything and hear everything. That's my personal opinion after experiencing floor and then the bleachers on the side. Unless you choose the tickets that are literally right in front of the extended stage, which I personally think is the best spot. So I am actually going for the bleachers this year, but I feel like anywhere in the stadium is the best seat. Like as long as you're there, doesn't matter where. I believe kind of like the first section of the bleachers, if you kind of want to see them a little bit more better, I guess, so they don't really look like tiny ants. But like I said, it doesn't matter where you are. You're going to have a blast. In your last video, you said you made different accounts, but other people tell me to log with the same account just on different device or to enter queue without being logged in and get your tickets and then log in. Which one is right? And I love your videos. Thank you, Norma. So things are going to be different than the last year's sale, that's for sure. Before, I was able to use multiple devices and I believe though that I was on different accounts on those multiple devices. Ticketmaster fan support stated that you cannot be signed in on multiple devices with the same account. They also recommend using different networks for the best experience, meaning try not to use the same IP address, like sharing the same Wi-Fi in the house. They do not recommend shopping on multiple tabs or devices. Trust me when I say that this doesn't work. I've tried the whole multiple tabs thing and it just gave me errors. So my tip to you guys is if you're trying to buy tickets for the general public sales, use as many phones as you can and do not connect it to Wi-Fi. Create different accounts with different emails or just use your friend's Ticketmaster account. And that's what I'm gonna do this time. Log into each device with different accounts. Make sure to have your credit card or debit card info along with the address and all that already pre-inputted into the account. Make sure to also have your credit card in front of you just in case. So use at least one laptop or desktop, then a bunch of phones connected to its mobile data provider. Again, not Wi-Fi. And download the Ticketmaster app. I suggest using the app instead of your phone browser. Now, it doesn't matter when you join the pre-queue. Pre-queue usually starts about 30 minutes before the general tickets go on sale. Once it's time for ticket sales, the pre-queue will then turn into a walking guy. Now this iconic icon, which no one likes because it gives us war flashbacks, it doesn't run fast enough. Um, okay, where was I going with this? <laughs> Accounts are chosen randomly, and I say randomly because I don't know how the system chooses, but it's trying to weed out bots, fake accounts, etc. So each walking icon will reach the finish line at different times. Once you reach the end, then you'll be given access to buy tickets. Even though all of my devices joined the queue at the same time, only one account got in immediately. And that doesn't happen all the time. Getting in within five minutes guarantees you a really good seat, especially if you want floor. 10 minutes after tickets go on sale and you finally get in, you still will get the seats you want. After the 30 minute mark, you finally get in, just get whatever seat you could find, just in case, because I think all the good ones will be gone by then. If it's been an hour and your guy is still walking along, I'm sorry to say this, but it's going to be tough getting tickets you want or even tickets at all but don't give up keep refreshing and this goes into my next question if we don't get selected for pre-sales and we can't get a ticket in the general sale what alternatives do we have to buy a ticket scalpers wait and see if some tickets pop up on Ticketmaster. basically what are the options after the hunger games between the 5th and the 7th february okay now if you didn't score a ticket Ticketmaster will have more tickets available for sale, but this is most likely resales. Or if you get lucky, there are some tickets that go back on there that are still face price. If not, you can go to a third party seller. 
Now, this has to be after you've tried all you can for the general face price, because let me tell you, third-party sellers, especially scalpers, will sell the ticket four times to 10 times more than the original price. You will be spending a lot more and I do not recommend it. People have been tricked into buying these fake tickets as well, so I can't stress enough. Please try for the actual general tickets and third-party sellers are like your last resort. <laughs> and please do not buy tickets that have a ridiculous price. Doesn't matter how desperate you are. Now there are third-party sites that I do trust and have used and it's only StubHub and Vivid Seats. Now, I do prefer StubHub a little bit more than Vivid Seats, and both sites do um, offer the Fan Protect guarantee, but please look more into that for more information. Remember, do not buy tickets that are currently on sale before the official ticket sale date. These sellers are most likely waiting to purchase the tickets when it goes on sale, meaning they don't have the tickets yet and are hoping to score some. How is one supposed to buy more than one show if both shows go on sale at the same local time for pre-sale? Do you think we'll be able to add one to our cart and then go for the second venue and get ticks and pay once we have all in our cart? Now we had a similar situation occur with my friend from New York and that's why I came in and helped her buy tickets. So I would suggest to have a friend help out because you should never leave a ticket in your cart. There is a time limit as to how long the system will hold it for you until it's released back to the public. So make sure to check out ASAP because there is a time limit. Again, make sure to have all your information inputted, have your debit card or credit card in front of you just in case. But yes, that is all for now, you guys. I'm sorry if I didn't get to answer all your questions. Leave them down below in the comment section and I'll try to respond to them or one of our fellow armies can help out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button and also join the Fleur Squad by subscribing, you guys. Thanks for watching.